If you want to grow your legal practice, you need to have a central hub to manage your cases. And Google Sheets and Excel simply don't make the cut. A modern tool for case management will not only have all the necessary functions that you need, such as storing the client information, generating documents, and billing your clients, but will also be easy to use and to collaborate with your team, and will also be able to integrate well with any of the other software that you are already using. Today, I will tell you why I believe that Clio is the best case management platform for lawyers and attorneys. Let's get going. We'll first talk about what is Clio and why do you need it in your practice. We'll then look at some basic features that the platform provides, talk about the pricing, and finally jump into the interface and see how it looks like. So first of all, what is Clio? Essentially what the company is trying to provide is a solution that will be able to become your operating system in the practice. A place, a central hub, where you'll be able to store all the information about your clients and conduct the business. Now, there are several competitors on the market of case management, such as MyCase and Filewine. I think that Clio is the best one because it is the most innovative company out of these. It is constantly releasing new features, such as the new client portal, where your clients can communicate securely with your law firm through a dedicated channel, and the new payments features that they have just released. They are also organizing a yearly conference called ClioCon, which talks about legal trends and attracts an audience in terms of thousands. I believe that Clio is the best positioned product for a law firm, as it, will, it is widely supported and is on good track of growth. Now let's look at some of the features that the platform provides. First of all, you'll be able to manage all your contacts and the matters associated with them. Store documents and upload the details of all your cases onto the platform. You'll be able to track time and expenses for each one of these matters. You'll be able to add new events to your calendar and share them with your colleagues and also make sure that you don't fall on any of the deadlines. You'll do some basic accounting generating bills and sending them to your clients. You'll also be able to manage all your tasks, either assigned to yourself or to your teammates. You'll be able to also provide a payment solution for your clients where they'll be able to pay you through an online portal with a credit card or with a bank transfer. Finally, you'll be able to generate some insights through a dashboard of your law firm and finally, as talked before, communicate with your clients securely through a new client portal. Now, Clio has two main products, Clio Manage and Clio Grow. Clio Manage is for case management, and that's the one that we talked about. While Clio Grow is a new solution that they have released for managing your leads and for client intake, essentially replacing your CRM. Currently, I think that Clio Grow is not the best option for a CRM software for your legal practice. It is not as flexible as some of the competitions such as HubSpot or Pipedrive, and also it doesn't have an open API, which means that it won't be able to integrate with any of the software that you're already using and even with Clio Manage itself. So for now, I would discard it as an option for a CRM. Let's talk about the pricing. The pricing, this annual option, is starting very affordably at about $40 per user per month. Here you get all the basic features such as time tracking, billing, online payments, calendars, and reporting. As you scale up, you'll be able to get more features such as custom fields, e-signatures, and the integrations that Clio provides. On the Elite plan, you'll be able to go even further with adding budgets, 
some advanced reporting and tasks, and finally with the priority support. I would say that the best options are either Boutique, as it gives you all the main features that you would need, or the Elite, if you need that additional support and some more customization. If you decide to go for the monthly option, the prices will be about 10 to 15% higher. Let's now jump into the interface and see how it looks like. You'll want to start out when you first open Clio with the settings. Here you'll be able to set all the main information about your law firm and some of the main practices that you do. For example, your main hourly rate and your default billing terms. You'll also be able to upload here the document templates using the merge fields in the document section. If you then go to the dashboard, here you'll be able to see all the main information about your performance as a law firm, such as how many bills do you have unpaid or overdue and their total amount, and if you have set a billable hours target, your performance on that. In the firm dashboard, you'll be able to see your utilization rate, your realization rate, and finally collection. The utilization is essentially how many hours of the total hours available are you working. After that, the realization is how many of the hours worked you have actually billed to your client. And finally, the collection is how many of those billed hours have you actually collected. You'll also be able to see a firm feed of the latest activities performed in your firm. In the calendar section, you'll be able to see all of the events that you have planned, either yours or your colleagues, and add new ones. You'll also be able to sync this calendar with your Outlook or Google Calendar. In the task section, you'll be able to see the tasks assigned to you or to your teammates. You'll be able to mark them as complete, to delete them, to add time to them to a specific matter, or to reassign them. Then in the matters and contacts, you'll be able to see all the main information about your cases. The contact is essentially the individuals and the companies that you work for. And the matters are each assigned to a specific case that you do for them. If you now jump in one specific case, you'll be able to see financial information, such as how much work in progress has been done and how much of it is unbilled, the outstanding balance of this particular case, and any of the trust funds that could have been applied to the matter. Here on the right, you'll be able to see the information about the contact associated to this case, timeline with the recent activities, any of the custom fields that you have assigned, and some of the details about the case. You'll also be able to see the events associated with this specific matter, any of the phone or email conversations that you have filed, either manually or through the integrations available with Outlook and Gmail, any of the notes that you have created, documents that you have uploaded, which you'll be able to easily send for e-signature directly through the interface, tasks, and finally bills. You'll also be able to generate bills quickly directly from the dashboard with this option over here. You can customize how your bills look like in the settings. Now, in the Activities tab, you'll be able to see any of the activities performed across all of the matters. In Billing, to track all your bills. In the Online Payment section, you'll be able to send out your bills to be paid by your clients electronically, either through credit card with a percent fee for each transaction, or through the e-check with a bank transfer. Be able to see any of the accounts that you have set up, either operating accounts or trust accounts, 
manage all documents and communications. And finally, be able to see the main metrics and defined reports for tracking your progress as a law firm. In the app integration sections, you'll be able to connect Clio with the software that you're already using, such as Gmail, Outlook, Zoom, and many more. More than 200 apps are available on the Clio platform. Now, if you can't find the app directly on Clio, you'll be able to, to, to use tools such as Integromat or Zapier, the first one of which we'll cover in a later video, to connect Clio to your desired tool. Now, finally, over here on the top right, you'll be able to see a time tracker, which will be able to start at any moment. And once you have finished, assign this time entry to a specific matter and a specific activity category. You'll also be able to define the rate for this specific task and bill it. Finally, you'll be able to create new entries, either time entries, contacts, matters, and others. Now, this was a quick overview of how the interface of Clio looks like. In the coming weeks, we'll be releasing more tutorials on our YouTube channel to go in detail about each one of these functions and features that Clio provides. So keep tuned to that. I hope that you have found this video useful. If you'd like our team to help you in your digital transformation, check out our services on our website automationforlawyers.com. We offer several options. One of them is hourly consulting with an automation expert from our team. And another is custom project development. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.